Hello folks, quick video of tackle boxes or saving money by buying some from hardware shops instead of buying branded makes like my old one here it's a little fox one which is quite useful but you just can't get much in there and that's part of the issue with lots of tackle boxes from branded companies I never find one that I'm happy with compartment wise or size or size of each section so quite often if I'm in a B&Q or one of the big hardware stores and I see something like this it catches my attention and I'm like hmm this one I found in Lidl and it was £9.99 two boxes so basically you're paying a fiver for each box this clicks to link them together if you want to use it as a double box but there'll probably be quite a lot of weight in there you can see the size of it judging by my hand um, so you've got two boxes for a tenner good deal let's have a look clip clip Inside, you've got compartments that you can change to suit your needs. These slide out, which is perfect for what I'm going to use it for. So, as if you can imagine, take those out. If you've got things like that's a very long marker float that goes in there no problem but yeah that's a big boy that one look marker float what else have I got here scissors PVA string they can go in the bit of marker elastic it's all got their own place look PVA string dark matter all the things I use or like to have with me on a session some shot that can go in there We've got a selection of leads you can sort it out a bit more precise but you could have like two ounce leads in this one three ounce leads in that one whatever you desire bit of uh, spray for the carp if they hurt themselves that goes in there PVA bags another pocket I'll probably separate these so you can put all these loosely in one of these boily stops um, a couple of hair needles but as you can see, that is doing a much better job than my old tackle box, which, um, oh, as I say, tackle box. An old tackle box lighter that I've had for about 20 years, and it's still going. That can go in there as well. So as you can see, you can rearrange it any way you want to suit you and whatever you're taking on that session or you usually want to take all the things you need just in case you change tactics or you want to do something different on the day my second box which I think I'm going to use for pike fishing my old pike tackle box is damaged it's cracked along the bottom and things spill out so this is going to be very good once again I will probably remove them let me just grab my forceps so I've got a couple of different forceps I've got the usual ones that most people got these are well lengthy and they fit excellent perfect I hadn't tried it before this video so that's really good 
I've got these ones as well, just in case the hook is really in there and you need a bit of oomph. So they can go in as well. Um, some random lures. As you can imagine, this is what it's going to look like. Oh, plonk, spinner. Spinner. A little mini one. So there you go. I'm well happy with these two. Five quid a box. Tenner for both of them. Why do you need a branded tackle box? Unless just to look the part and to match the rest of your green or camo gear. Um, I'm not too fussed. These are probably going to do the job better than any that I find on the market. I am just go to a tackle shop and I just don't ever find anything I like. So finding these in Lidl for 10 quid made my day. I love a bargain. Go get yourself a bargain folks. If you like my video, please subscribe. I'll see you soon everyone. Mm-hmm.